Our next inductee to the Toledo Hockey Hall of Fame played for the Gold Diggers and later came back to Toledo as the head coach of the Storm. He'd work his way all the way up to the NHL as a head coach in Columbus and Winnipeg. To help with our surprise, we enlisted the help of Toledo Hockey Hall of Famer Nick Fatusi. You know, I know when we always talk to each other, it's hockey related, player related, NHL teams, projections and directions that they're going, but this is a this is a fun call to make and, and I'm happy to be making it with you. So as you witness in the spring, we're very proud of the history of hockey in Toledo that you and your teammates and, and all the success they had helped create. Um, so on behalf of the committee that is made up of past players, coaches, media members and fans, it is my honor, my friend, in congratulating you and your induction into the 2024 Toledo Hockey Hall of Fame. Um, that's going to take place at the end of uh, end of January, and we'll be in on details with you about that. But uh, you join a great club of people that you know and and people that you oh. don't know that that help build, uh, you know, really the, the bricks and mortar of hockey in Toledo. And uh, we're thrilled to have you uh, in into the Hall of Fame. Well, that's awesome news, fellas, because. Uh... Toledo, as you know, is always, uh, well, it's always meant a big part of my career and my my life. And anytime you can win a championship, as everybody knows, it's certainly special. And I know a lot of the people in there, I don't know all of them because of my age. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be 120. <laughs> but it's a great honor, and I certainly appreciate it. this uh, honor here it's great to be part of such a storied franchise and city and to be back with some of the people I played with and, and took part in so it's 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 great you know we you don't get you don't get these things every day I mean no matter where your career takes you to go into a you know a, a hall of fame type setting is really good in any fashion, in any city. And I'm more than proud and honored to be part of this one. I feel fortunate. I think you guys worked hard, and I think we really deserved to win. I thought we were the best team in the league. You know, we showed that over 82 games, but it's tougher to show it through a shorter playoff series. And, and we did that, and I, uh, more power to the guys. I tell you, I think we worked hard to deserve it. Obviously, he embodies um, what what I think Toledo hockey stands for, and and you know he obviously was a was a leader and a great player during his time there and, and winning a championship, but doing it in a in in really a what, what Toledo fans uh, I, I guess could call a blue collar era, um, uh, but but was a, a highly skilled player during that time, and and uh, um, you know those those gold digger teams. Um, the long history of not only hockey in Toledo, but especially that Gold Digger franchise is a special one. And and, and Claude was was one of the best in in, in that jersey. And then uh, and then to come back and, and recheck and and uh, have the year that he had. It was a quick year, but obviously a highly successful year coaching the Toledo Storm and really turning that franchise around in just one quick year. He obviously is a staple of of what he brought to the Toledo. Uh, hockey franchises and, and not only as a player as a coach but personally as a friend to me and a mentor to me as well as I got into uh, scouting with the New Jersey Devils and we were able to work together for five years.